Hi everyone, welcome to week five of your Medical Language 2 course. Um, this week we are going to be covering chapter 13, which is gynecology and obstetrics. Gynecology and obstetrics is basically the study of the female reproductive system. So last week we discussed the male reproductive system. This week we're looking at the female reproductive system. One of the things that you're going to want to make sure that you understand is what is the difference between gynecology and obstetrics. And I, I, probably the easiest way to explain it, gynecology deals with the study of the female genital system, um, whereas obstetrics is the reproductive system. So when we talk about actual childbirth and things like that, that's where we get into obstetrics. Um, whereas gynecology doesn't necessarily deal with the obstetrics part of it. So a lot of times you'll hear of the, the doctors being OBGYNs. That means they, they cover both of those things. And most, most do, although you will find that there are some, um, especially nowadays, there's some doctors who are only um, there providing services for gynecology and not the obstetrics because obstetrics tends to have a little more um, higher rate of um, malpractice and things like that that they have to deal with and costs a lot as far as insurance and stuff like that goes. So the first thing you're going to be doing is looking at all of the anatomy and physiology for the female reproductive system. So we're going to look at both the internal and the external genitalia. So we're going to be looking at that. Um, and then, of course, just like with all of the other systems we've been studying, um, once you learn about all the different parts and pieces and how they work and what they do, then you're going to look at um, the different disease states that affect them. Um, so let me pop on over to, and actually this chapter is going to also go through all of the process of labor and delivery. So just beware when you get to uh, about halfway through this slide deck, if you don't want to watch a birth, you might want to skip through a couple of those slides. But for those of us who have been through it, uh, not a big deal, right? Um, so anyway, then you're going to get into the diseases. Um, so what are some of the diseases of the female reproductive system, like endometriosis, things such as that, um, uterine cancer, um, and then what are some of the disorders like, um, you know, menopause is actually considered a disorder. It is this, the, the ending of, of the, having a menstrual period. Um, and then of course, PMS is listed in there. What are some of the things that can happen with, uh, the cervix? All of those things are listed under the diseases. And then from there, you will go through and look at some of the laboratory and diagnostic procedures. Uh, probably one of the most common ones is a pap smear. Um, there's been some changes in how often that's recommended to have it done. Um, depends on whether or not you've had a positive or negative one in the past. Um, the BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene refers to um, the breast cancer gene. Uh, so that's very interesting. If you don't know anything about that, that's that's um, kind of something you might want to look at. Um, and then infertility issues as well as issues through pregnancy. So they're going to discuss all of that. Um, and then you're going to um, look at some of the different medications that are used, um, some of those different drugs that are used for um, contraception, some of them that are used for abnormal bleeding, uh, things that are used for premature labor and things like that. So uh, all over the, the place with the, the different types of things you're going to be studying this this week, because of course, this is a pretty complicated um, system. Um, and then of course, the, the end, you're going to look at abbreviations and, and drug uh, or word parts too. So um, you know, if you have questions on this chapter, please make sure you let me know. The other thing I wanted to remind you of is that this is week five. So what that means is you're going to be taking your or midterm exam this week. Um, you want to make sure that you complete this chapter before you take that midterm exam because the, um, the things that you're going to be learning in this chapter could be covered on that exam. Um, this is also a great time for you to get caught up on any missing work that you might have. So go back and look and see if you have any assignments or quizzes or um, haven't called in some of your um, drug um, 
drug pronunciations. You can um, record those. So all of those can still be completed. The one thing you cannot do is a discussion. Any discussion posts that are, are past due, unfortunately you cannot complete those because um, once the discussions are, are done for the week, it is closed and there's no one else there to talk to. So no discussion posts um, will be accepted late, but you can definitely turn in any quiz or assignment or drug pronunciation tests. So make sure that you do that because on Monday um, after this week closes, um, I will be posting your midterm grades so that um, I wanna make sure we get all those turned in so that your grade will reflect that. Um, if you have any questions about the due dates or things like that or what you might be missing or as well as this chapter, make sure that you reach out to me and have a great week.